Hi right, guys, welcome back to XCOM UFO Defense Hard Mode Expansion, starting episode 56. Uh, in this episode, we've actually um, updated the mod. Hellraiser released a new version of the mod, uh, version 0.99.8.1. And although it didn't say that in the opening screen there, uh, it is indeed new. And uh, yeah, it's minor changes, although one of the big changes is that the terrain pack is now integrated into the mod. So I know we had, last episode was the first one where we actually had terrain pack working. And uh, yeah, it was cool, but now it's actually fully integrated into the mod. So, um, so yeah, it's going to be a little different. Um, newer maps and just different maps. So maybe some more challenging maps. So that'll be good. Um, anyhow, last mission we did was, I believe it was a small uh, against mutants and we did okay. Lost a couple of people as usual, but no big deal. Um, Sky Striker number one is ready to go with 16 people on board. Let's just check the situation here. Yeah, eight heavy laser snipers, eight scatters. That's good. It's a good place to be. Um, we're waiting on uh, new living quarters, new laboratory coming along. So we've got, yeah, we're pretty full on, on people. We're going to want to yeah, add another 50 scientists if we can. And then we've got Australasia is turning into a manufacturing hub, which is good. Winnipeg's a strike base. We've built it out to be, uh, I don't know what it's going to be. It'll pro it needs a garrison at some point because it's starting to become an investment. It might also be a workshop laser cannon manufacturing facility. So I've looked into laser cannons and uh, we're kind of on the, um, we, we can make them. They cost 182K to build. And I've worked it out that I think it's true that if you max out one workshop building, uh, laser cannons with 50 engineers. It's ex it's insanely expensive. Um, it costs you 2 million bucks to run that, but you net 3 million. So um, there you go, something like that. So I think it ends up being worth it ultimately. And that's how we can expand once, especially once we start losing countries, which we're going to. So anyway, guys. Oh yeah, I meant to check. Um, Sky Striker 3 is not in good shape. It's missing some people. Yeah, we'll figure out what the story is on this Sky Striker. This one got chewed up pretty bad. Armored vests, okay. Although I really should be upgrading those to personal armor. Um, right, let's see, yeah. Everybody here have personal armor? Let's see. No. Okay. Yikes. Yeah, because we have a lot of replacements, I think. What are we? We're manufacturing heavy laser sniper, trying to bang out another four of those. Yeah, that's the problem is we can't really convert these to laser cannon production right away just because um, we need to get so much more going in terms of uh, armor, weapons. Although. Maybe right off the bat, it makes sense to convert these to that just so that they're generating income for us, steady income and and, and nullify the um, the monthly cost deficit, which is now ballooning out. It's gigantic. Um, the thing that's crazy about it is those things suck funds so much. Every time they build a new one, it costs 182 K. So you got to watch the funding picture there and, and remember to sell them. Um, I seem to remember there being an auto sell mod somewhere where you can auto sell the output of manufacturing for the very purpose of building like, you know, manufacturing facilities. Um, in some ways, the selling of laser cannons is a little bit like, it's a little bit of a sketchy approximation to what, you know, you could do to make money. It's like, how many laser cannons does the world need? But <laughs> for craft mounted laser cannons, I mean, somebody's buying them, but anyhow. Uh, oh yeah, I should check to make sure that we're getting some soldiers here. Yes, there's, whoa, only four coming. Let's get a couple more. Okay. And yeah, okay. Australasia, smoke, avalanche, drone pellets. Okay. Can we, oh, we, we do have a drone on board. That's great. Uh, we're waiting for more soldiers. What do we have here? Okay, they're a little, oh. Yeah, a bunch of scatter lasers. Okay. 
And actually, one thing I've been using in my offline run, I have another run going offline, is using the incendiary grenades. They're actually kind of useful for night missions. I've been taking night missions more in my offline run, just sort of like wading into it. And yeah, it's kind of crazy, but it is doable um, as long as you light the place up, basically, which amounts to setting it all on fire. Let's just buy a few of those. Let's get some more 40 mils. Okay. Winnipeg. So I bought some basic defensive stuff for Winnipeg. For some reason. Um, do I want to have a third strike base here? Sort of think not, but I could. That might be overkill, but the thing is, if you're going to have a garrison, you might want to think about having a, a Sky Ranger too. So, I don't know if it pays itself though. Okay, have a laser sniper. Let's equip that out. Um, that's good. Let's pull back some of the scatter lasers. Yeah, so there's 12. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, it's a small. Okay, let's try to get it with the uh, Sky Striker. Let's check that retaliator. What's the story on this? Is it loaded up? Yeah, Avalanche. Tell you what, let's um, intercept it with that too. Okay, let's wait a sec. See where it goes. Okay, it's coming up. This looks like it's gonna land. Wait a sec. It's speeding up. Okay, let's 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 track it with this anyway, in case it decides not to land. Looks like it wants to land. Okay, let's just track it with this thing. Uh oh, it's speeding up. I don't like it. Let's let's take it out. Go. There it goes. Nice. Because it was going to be night time. So anyway. Okay, here we go, guys. So, straight at the door, not going to be doing that. She's strong, though. Uh, let's give her scatter laser. And a bunch of smoke. Oh, yeah. So, some, um, somebody was telling me that it's cheaper to go this way from the shoulders. So, that, that would be good. Cheap is good. Okay, that's pretty good. Why is this thing even on board, you know? Heavy cannon. This is garbage. Um, scatter lasers are where it's at. Okay. What else? You can do more. Med kit. Uh, maybe taser. This is Black Sea, right? Yeah. So we could take prisoners if we have to. Although we're kind of we don't really need prisoners at this point, but. It is, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so by that token, let's put them up top. Yeah, so my understanding is now that there's, it's cheaper to go from top down and to cross over to different hands from the other pocket costs more. So if that's the case, we're gonna try to start using this shoulder more on the side of the, uh, the empty hand. Okay, uh, looking good. Let's get a little bit more of this going. A lot of smoke. Yeah, a lot of shotgun people. I do need to convert some of these to heavy laser snipers. I mean, this this person could be, actually. It's a little heavy, though, but they don't need two proxim grenades. They can probably get away without this. That'll do. Oh, 63, you too. Oh, really? Okay, so let's see who else has it. Yeah, that's about right. Chew is still really inaccurate. Wow, look at this. Grenadier. Okay, we have actually a lot of, okay, yeah, I forgot. This is the main, this is the main group. So they have some pretty good snipers already. So this could be fine with that. Um, okay, in fact, the next person's better off with it as it turns out. Um, okay. 
I'll do that. Put these up top. Okay, let's hope everybody else has a decent loadout. Top. Some good, yeah, so definitely some good units here. Wow. You can do a little more, Polina. You can do another grenade. Peter. Yeah, so some new faces here for sure. Liubin. Okay, you kitted out with the basics here. Richard. Tucker, let's give you just basic stuff here. You don't need to have anything special. Carlos, looking good. Good good carrying capacity on Carlos here. I guess it makes sense to put these up in the other shoulders. I'm not sure actually about that, but. Karina. Okay, are we back to the beginning? I think we might well be. Yes, I think so. Para, para moke te ora. Nice. So, do we only have the one grenadier? Looks like it. That's not great. Amelia. Who's our next grenadier? Is the question. Para could be. Oh, he's got the right outfit for close combat. Hyun Jun could be. 63. Asthma. It's also a really good sniper, though. We're going to want some snipage. Oh, yeah, and that's Amelia. Uh, I mean, Richard. He's got some weight capacity. He's got okay accuracy. He could be trained up. Let's do it. Maybe keep him alive for a bit. Okay, load him up with uh, extra rounds. A smoke. That'll be good for this mission. Hey guys, let's jump in there. Oh, sectoid right off the bat. Shoot. So I gotta drop this here and hope that that covers us. That's a sectoid with a sniper rifle, no less. And let's drop one back here as well. With you, Kai Hautu. Okay, let's really hope we don't get shot here. You can see him, but you can't. Karina, dare I throw one? If I throw one out, he might get a reaction on him though. Let's see. Hope this works. Oh. Okay, it did work. What do we got? Back turned, that's good. That one's exposed. Um okay, let's do this. Let's try to drop this thing. 42%. That looked really good. What what did you do? Somehow you saw one over here now. You definitely injured that one. Okay, let's drop Drop a smoke. Wow, guys. Yeah, let's pop out this side, Carlos. Hit the road here. It's dank out here, guys. What do we got? Yeah, you see him too? Put him down. Oh, really? Okay, put him down now. Really? Don't love that. This should be doable. Let's see. So we've got, yeah, you know. Folks were recommending that I get into the business of, um, okay, wow, that side's blocked. That's crazy, uh, of laser rifles. And I think that's a pretty good idea. I haven't really been doing that yet. I've been spamming shotguns, which has been pretty good. But um, on the other hand, you know, at medium range, it is not amazing. We do have a sniper, though, so we've kind of, like, divided it into, like, really close and really far uh, engagement capabilities. Let's try tossing some smoke, extend this a little bit for ourselves. So this is, like, a feature here. Wow. Let's extend this this way. Let's extend this this way. And these guys need to extend this this way. There we go. And then we gotta extend this this way as well. Keanu can do that. Keanu, cool. Um, and then yeah, I guess we'll kind of 
figure out what we're going to do with the artillery in a second. This corner looks good, although the craft's right there. Could be good though. That would make a that would make a lot of sense to use that corner. Let's move. Okay. This looks like a really good sniper area too, generally speaking. So yeah, taking that corner is going to be important. Let's get. Oh, it's, we can't do. That. He's got smoke covering him. Let's pull him. Can you do it? Oh, shoot. Of course, right? Uh, nobody can do anything about that. Except maybe in the back. This would be bold. We did that. He could take the shot. Let's do it. He's new. He's needs. He needs to prove himself. Let's do it. Really? What are you going to hit? Oh, the craft, of course. 23. Here it comes, guys. Death. Okay, that was good. He's going to be in a hail of smoke in a second, so that's good news. Uh, Hyunjun, sniper. Can you do this? Yeah, go. At least deploy. Okay, there you go. Tuck away. And Barbara Schmidt, can you go to here? It's going to be bold, but let's do it. She could use a little more smoke. Para, can you do it? Yes, you can. Let's do that. That's going to set it up for the artillery team. We'll get them lined up. Oh, can you? Let's get the artillery team. Oh, that's not artillery. That's asthma. Kahuatu. Okay. Where's our other... Oh, our other artillery ran out already. Yes, of course. We just did that. Okay, that's it for now. Let's not um, push it. Chu can jump out next turn too. And Asma will come up here. Okay, let's see what happens, guys. Well, that was good. Okay, let's push out the rooks. Do a little recon. Oh yeah, this is a shot down craft, so it might be a touch easier than usual. Uh, gee, I wish Phillips could do this. Can't he? Yes, he can. Let's see. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, Barbara, what do you see? Nothing. Um, let's drop a smoke at your feet. And we'll set up. Yeah, Phillips is done for the turn. He could have just ducked, actually. Paulina, somebody's got to go around back and make sure it's clear. Looks good. Okay, that's good news. So... Although I don't love this as a spot for a grenadier because of the potential to blow yourself up. Carlos, push a bit forward. Let's go over to here. Oh my gosh. Oh, Richard. See, yeah, you're going to hit that, aren't you? What can you do? 23? What's it going to be? Can you do it? I looked all right, but it wasn't. Yeah, we're not going to have much in the way of grenade capabilities here, fortunately. Um, you can pull back. Interesting that we can't really see them, but there's two. That's unusual for them to be bunched up like that. One, two. Wow. Amelia can do a snapshot, I think. She takes 32. So it could... That's really bold to put her forward that far forward. I could enhance her smoke a little bit. She's shooting over the wing. Yeah, I think it could work. Let's do it. 42%. Make it happen. Oh, too much too much stuff there. You pull back. It's a bit awkward here, guys. We don't have really um, good options to throw things here. 24. It's going to be 14 to throw. Can you go? Nope. Can't do it. Shucks. Richard's out. Carlos, you're not in a good way. Um, can you? I don't think you can do much. No. Because you're going to pop out under the craft, and that, that wing's going to block everything. We're blocked. Hard. I think we just have to pull him back and really hope this person doesn't get killed. Paulina, you, you can't. No. Just drop to a knee and hope for the best. Hyun, uh... Yeah, you would have been an option. Let's instead smoke our, our friends here.
or not. Okay, that was that was something. Yeah, you can pull back to here. That's not great. Boy, would I love to have a proximity mine up there. Chu can't do it, can he? 19 to throw his 15. I don't I don't think he's going to be able This is really dangerous. Oh no. The turn killed it. Well, we're just going to have to take our chances here. Um but yeah, I should get Peter out here deployed. And get Kohatu. Yeah, we need somebody over here. Let's get Oh no, we got some snipers that are coming out here. Asthma and Apera. Okay, Barbara. Oh, you dropped one already, that's good. Asthma. Good old asthma. He's gonna snipe from here and and Karina's gonna pull back to here. Or here. What about these guys? Okay, Kohatu, you're gonna pop out if we need you and take a shot at something. Carlos is the one that's really at risk. Carlos and Polina. Let's hope for the best guys. Here we go. Oh, can we reload? No. No. Hyun. Okay, Leoben didn't do anything. I guess prime up a regular grenade and just hope you don't die. Oh, Carlos bought it. Darn. Smoke wasn't enough for him. That's too bad. Okay, spot him. Need to find the one with the gun. Shoot. It's not good. Yeah, let's we'll waste that one. Uh how are we gonna do that? Like so? A little dangerous there actually, can you? Karina, can you do this? Really dangerous there, actually. We need somebody with skill. Asthma. <sighs> Obliterated the tree. Now we don't know what's forward of us, unfortunately. Barbara's going to have to find out. We know nothing came out of the craft, at least. Okay, that's good. Para, yeah, you're going to be also on recon here. Mila, you need to reload. I'm going to wait, because we might need a snapshot from you. Boy, I can't believe we can't reveal the other one. Very, very sneaky alien. We're going to need some smoke cover there. Chu, can you... Uh, and we can't even grenade that one now, unfortunately. Let's just hose it. That was something. Richard, we need you to, to chill. Tucker. I didn't quite see where that shot came from, but somewhere up here. I guess we could just shell the area. Let's do that. And see if we can kill it. Okay, not there. Amelia, can you do something for us here? Up the hill a little bit? Like... Shoot. Okay, Tucker. Let's drop one in here. Okay, I don't know if that'll do any good. Now let's toss the grenade up there too. This is a bit dangerous. Rookie. Okay, it went up. These guys are in a lot of danger. Oh, we need smoke for them. You can do it, Peter. Toss the smoke. There. Go back. Alina's in great jeopardy. Chew as well. Richard, you're in jeopardy too. Let's get you. He's just in a bad place. Like it's not a good firing position altogether, and he's probably the next target. Let's get him back. Choose armed <laughs> as an armed grenade and is about to go down. Para, come up the side. Okay. Asthma's exposed. And then we've got K2. Okay, let's get K2 out. We need some Overwatch snipage over here. Of course, that alien faded out, eh? Into the distance. There it is. How did it survive all that? Okay. Um, K2 
Can, okay, if you pull back, you can get shot. Yes. Oh, come on, no. Should have known, because he didn't move. Oh, grenade his feet, at least. Um, but that's awful. Two rookies for no reason. You know, absolutely no reason there to lose those rookies. It's painful, guys. Um, Apera, what are you going to do? Okay. Karina, can you pull up here? Make sure nobody's walking up on us this way. Okay, good. Asthma, pull back a little bit. Go into snipe position. Hyun, up to here. Reload the, the mortar team. And I'm going to move him out into this, quote, safe area over here for the mortar teams. Yeah, go over here. Drop to a knee. Okay, and then we've got Phillips. Yeah, Phillips needs to go up front. She's exposed. She has no smoke. Para should give her some smoke. And she'll pull up to the craft next round. Who else? Hyun. Tucker. We're going to need rookies to explore this, this whole complex here. It looks like it has a cave in it, so that's... Part of the uh, train pack. Joy. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. Two down. That's good. Blew that body, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Okay, so she's going to be popping out with strafe shot. It looks like the back passage is blocked by that tree. So that's, I guess, good. I don't think they know. They don't really know how to blow it. So I think... Okay, Phillips, same story, come on in. And I'm not going to retrap that because we need... Oh, and I thought it was going to blow that as well, but it didn't. Anyway, you got to be careful with your proxims. Remember that mission where we... The battleship mission where I... It was such a long mission, I forgot about my proximity mine and I stepped on it. Very, very grim. Okay, Tucker, in you go. We're going to try to work our way up this hill. Hyun, okay. Karina, she's really going to get exposed when that door opens. But she can kind of be our our eyes, I guess. Richard, reposition. Drop to a knee. Okay, Hyun, what are you up to? Overwatch sniping, but you're a Sarge. Okay, in you go here. Just to here. Give us more opportunities when somebody comes out the door and Chew. Yeah, Chew just take up the rear. Maybe Chew could even like get another proximity ready. Okay. Quiet. So there's maybe like so if I if I walk there I die, but I think here we're fine. It wants to walk on the nade spot. Okay. Can you come up? I can't even tell what this structure is. Like, it's it's complicated. That's the one thing about terrain pack. It's like, did I really want more complicated structures? I mean, I guess, but... Okay, rookie. You guys, Tucker, come on up here. I'm going to go straight through the middle into that, like, garden up there. I didn't hear any doors open, so... Yeah, let's hang back. We'll wait on that. Karina can wait. We're going to move this squad around and pivot. Let's get Chu to go with them. Chu, you can prime that grenade. Okay, the two mortars are reloaded. That's good. Kwatu's waiting. Hyun's waiting. Okay, no door opening. Interesting. This is bad over here for sure. Oh, give yourself a little cover. There we go. Good. Right in the shadows there. Okay, let's blow it up. Let's give the new guy a chance. Richard, 77% is pretty good. Good. Get his accuracy up a bit. Feed him kills. We could rush this thing. The other thing is we could... Let's go around back. You know, what am I... Let's blow this out with an auto. Gotta blow that out again. Oh. You can't, I guess. Interesting. I guess you can. 
Can you get back? Yeah, nice. Okay, she's gonna wait. Let's get somebody else to go with them. Uh, okay, Hatu is gonna go, and Hyun will take up his position here. He's kind of vulnerable. Actually, we should probably be there. Asma's got Overwatch. You've got some smoke, Peter. Drop to a knee. Oh, you haven't moved yet. Wow. Okay. That's the edge of the map there. Okay, pull back a little. Drop to a knee. You guys have to move. Okay. Weave through this junk. Oh. Tucker. Sniped. Okay, can you reveal him? Can you? Yes, you can. Let's take him down with the sniper here. Um, Hyun. Oh, he already moved, unfortunately. Asthma's got to do it. No, don't do that. 112%. Shut it down. Actually, that wasn't even the one because it was aimed the wrong way. There's another one. There. Whoa, guys. Look at that, eh? Asthma, you can't do it. You're shot out. Hyun, you can't do it. I'm out of snipers, guys. Um, Let's do this. He could evade that, though. And he might actually be able to kill this guy as he steps back. That dude dropped. I can't believe it. Three guys, you know, so far. It's just... Oh. It's harsh. Oh, she could have done something about it. Spray and pray. Okay, let's get back. And let's wait a turn. It didn't... It didn't move on to it. Oh my gosh. It's too smart for that. It just went another way. There, spotted. Where are you? you? Went back into the woods? Okay, let's end it with one of these. Richard, another shot for you. That's more like it. Okay, Phillips, let's go around back and see what we see. Okay, to here. Para, back him up. Going in with some experienced people here, unfortunately. Do not want them to die. Okay, so Barbara, you're gonna be going through the door. Actually, oh, you don't have a proxim. That's too bad. Hyun, you don't have one either. Asthma, you don't have one either. A little short on proxims here, guys. So let's drop, let's throw one for for him with, from her. Okay, you can take that. Prime it up. So it's ready to go. And you're all spent, so let's get you to set you up with a little bit of cover. Let's push up Peter here. It's, it's really murky in there. Okay, can you come down back him up, Leuben? Get behind this tree. Keanu's out in the open. It's not good. Karina, okay, come up a little bit. Asthma's still sniping. You're still sniping. You guys, you're loaded. You're not loaded. You can't load. Okay. Quick, quick turn, you know, like it's it's like, is there anybody kind of thing? So he could come in and throw a... Okay, let's recon with Keanu. It's such a complicated terrain, right? It could easily hide somebody. So I guess there is not a cave here. That's good. Look cavey to me. Keanu, okay, back to here. And I guess let's let's try this. Okay, that's at least we're safe for now. And let's converge on this. Asthma. Um yeah. Okay. And these guys got to push forward a bit. Let's get Barbara to walk up a little bit here. Make sure there's nobody else creeping around in the sides. Phillips has got to go around back. Somebody had to do it. Go back. Barbara, just hang. Para's going to hang. Keanu's going to kneel. I'm hoping there's nobody else outside, guys. It's We're, we're pretty exposed here. I think not.
I think the last one's in the craft. With any luck, he's going to step on that mine. But anyway, let's get Phillips around here. Got to watch that proximity mine. This is an interesting structure here. It's solid, though. He's got to come back this way. The only other way to out is through the mine. Can you pull in here? Got to be careful to set off that mine. Okay, no, nope, good. Marina. Gotta be a little careful here because. Okay, Hyun and Kua to. You guys be over here. So somebody's gonna blow that mine if you want to go in. It could be Keanu. Um, you gotta wait till next turn though. Let's get Barbara. Can you not? Ah, it's close. It's like he's gonna set that off. Let's not do it. Let's go around back the other way. Just don't trust it. Stepping in your own mind is the worst. I'd like to say we've all done it, but it might just be me. Okay, back you go. Everybody sort of converge. Really hope there's no cave in here. But I'm not seeing anything, so no entrances. Here we go. He took it. That's the crazy thing, right? Okay, Karina, your turn. Here, do it. Put it down. I wish I had a... Well... Okay, Karina, you gotta back off. You gotta get somebody else. Keanu's gonna have reactions, I hope. Hopefully he can only see him when he pops out. That was it. Okay. Wow, guys. So, three people, you know? For 10 aliens. It's a rough trade. I think we have to make like four to one or something, right? Like, let's go back and see what we get for it. So if we buy um, soldiers are 60K, so it's six to one guys. If you want to just count the sales of the, uh... oh, it's so bad. If you want to count just the body sales alone, like body for body, no weapons included. It's six to one. The weapons change it slightly, of course, but oh, it's attrition. You know, it's like we're just slowly creeping forward here in our in our uh, pursuit of um, stability. So let's do a sell now. And the problem too is it is body for body almost now because we're not really selling most of the plasma stuff. We're trying to keep as much as possible so that we can deploy out right away. Um, same with small launchers. Those are great blaster bombs, you know. But yeah, alien grenades, mine probes are good. So yeah, mine probes and the corpses. Navigation. Okay, sell them. So, and a navigator. Yeah. So there you go, guys. 385k. And we spent 180. So we, we netted 200 on that. That's a hard way to make your living, isn't it? Oh. You know, I think we mostly lost rookies there. We might have lost a squatty, but um, data course coming along, which is good. And we're almost done the heavy laser snipers. Maybe we can transfer a couple more over to Australasia. Um, two more. Wait, it is Australasia, right? Yeah. Let's transfer two more over. And then we, yeah, we got a couple more being produced, two more, and then what to produce at that point? Um, wow, we have unused workshop space here too, which is crazy. 40, so we could buy some more engineers. What's, it's almost the end of the month. So at the, at the end of the month, we need to spend a lot of money buying uh, up to 50 scientists, a bunch of engineers for both labs, you know, for both, both bases. It almost might make sense to just bite the bullet and sell down most of our plasma stock, you know, like we still have to research plasma shotgun and everything. So, I mean, plasma shotgun, we don't really have many plasma rifles. Those could be good though, actually. Intermediate weapon, good, powerful intermediate weapon. Um, the other thing I got to think about is laser rifle. Let's take a quick look at it. Um, laser rifle, where are we? Laser rifle. So it's a 60 laser beam versus the scatter laser 60 times five. Oh my gosh, versus 100 for the sniper. See, this is why I have trouble taking laser rifle. Let's see the accuracy. Okay. 
100% accuracy. Now these values, I don't really know how to interpret because we're using the um, the OpenXCOM range mod. I'm forgetting off the top of my head what it is, but it's in the description. But uh, basically, range drop, you know, accuracy drops off with range. But yeah, aim is pretty good. Yeah, we never see like you see 85 right up close, but far away you don't. But maybe this is better for range. Maybe it's almost like a sniper rifle. And yeah, heavy laser is extremely accurate, extremely powerful. See, I'd almost rather just invest in all these and get people able to carry them. The only thing I would say maybe is the movement points are better for this, but yeah, maybe. So a few of these are probably needed for like, maybe you jump out the craft or maybe you go breach into the uh, craft. So TU cost, let's see for, uh, let's say for us, this is what we want to do. Snap or 30 and 45. Interesting. That's pretty good. An 80% accurate shot. Versus a 70, they're concerned. The thing about this is it's five um, beams times 60. This is where you get into the multiple, you're taking five shots, right? So it's five shots times whatever accuracy versus one shot, you know? This is why the shock, shotgun spamming does seem to be really good. Um, you know, one snap. Wow, the snap for the laser is even better, the accuracy, than the rifle. It's crazy. The rifle really comes through in the aim shot. But even the aimed is cheaper for the, the scatter laser, as it would be, I guess. So the aimed is 50% of your TU versus the it's 66. 80 for 33. Yeah, so overall, the, it's, light, it's a little lighter, but it's 40 less damage, guys. So for something like sectoids, I could see that being... It's going to end them. But for mutons and stuff, you have to go a bit heavier. Unclear, you know, it's unclear out the gate whether you're going to get mutons or not. I'm still, I think, inclined to go with... This is my mainstay ranged weapon, a mix of heavy laser sniper and scatter. And by that token, I'll probably do the same thing with plasma. Although plasma is strong enough, probably that the laser rifle equivalent, the plasma rifle might be like 120 or something. So it might have enough stopping power to make it the good middle balance. What about heavy laser auto? See, this one is not as good as the sniper. Although auto shot, you get 50% versus 75. You want the auto for this because you get four shots at 50% a piece, 85 each. But, you know, versus five shots, you know, it's it's 60. 60 accuracy. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's trade-off-y. It's not clear to me that this, this still seems kind of useless. 85 is good and all, but if you're close enough to hit them with the four shots from the laser beam, you're probably close enough to hit them with five or six shots of this, which is, you know, it kind of balances out. And then this is just more versatile. So I'm thinking like still my strategy is probably right is to have like scatter lasers, a few of them, four or five of them maybe, and the rest are heavy laser snipers to drop people at range. And eventually it'll be like, you know, scatter shock or scatter plasma, Pl plasma shotgun. Like you've seen, we've seen that used on us. It's insanely damaging. Like you're spraying out five or six shots or whatever it is of plasma everything it hits dies you know so it's kind of amazing and then the plasma sniper must be unbelievable like who knows what kind of damage it does but we're gonna need it to shut down large 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 aliens that we encounter later not so much large as damage sponge aliens so we'll see guys we'll see what happens when we get there we don't have the alien grenade yet the one thing i do need to manufacture more of is the motion scanner i'm finally convinced that the motion scanner can be useful especially for the early deployment when you have um, aliens right around the craft it is good um, so what we'll do is when we finish this we're going to bang out some motion scanners right quick uh, and then here I don't know what we're going to do we're going to try to convert these I think into laser cannon shops right away just to get the economy under control and then when the economy is under control we're going to start really going big fill out these two these two will still be primary production these will be as we can, we're going to add workshops and, and living quarters to these, fill this out, so we have five. So if I'm right in the computation is that it's a million bucks a month per workshop working on laser cannons full time, that's five million bucks there extra, which would put us in the green, right? We were looking at, oh, quite a bit, guys. Um, what's that? Just under four million bucks in, in cost. In, so if we do all of that, we'll just be breaking even right now based on our current footprint and that's without the new scientists so oh it's it's a little bit mind-boggling 
the expenses we're going to face. Like this base realistically is actually going to need to fill in workshops as much as we can, basically. So I think it's a workshop and a living quarters per. So I think it's 50. Each living quarters adds 50 storage. One, two, three. Yeah. So for every workshop, you need a living quarters. So these will fill in with living quarters. What's it got now? It's got space for it. But yeah, if we want a garrison here, which you'll need because it's too valuable a base, it'll be a, like a run ender if they took it out. We'd have one, two, three, and then we'd have, if I don't, if I still want to make it defendable, I've only got four more slots, five more slots. So it would be, you know, two more workshops and a spare living quarters or something, you know? Um, so what are we looking at? Five, seven. So seven million bucks here, which means that this base also will want to convert into a, a laser cannon production facility. It may have some Psylabs too. And we're probably going to want to put a Sky Ranger down because the Sky Ranger or the Sky Strikers really aren't that much. They're, they're 250 a month, you know, the initial cost is high, but 250 a month is kind of like, you might as well have one. Plus the hangar is um, 250 plus 20K. So 270 a month to run one of those, not a big deal. Um, I'd say it's worth it. Uh, so much so that I think we're going to just... <sighs> if you have a garrison here, you have the option to, if you get swarmed, to take multiple missions. So it is probably to our advantage to bite the bullet in the extra 270k a month, given that we're going to take on like another 3 million a month in, in costs. Um, let's just do it. It's crazy, but let's just do it. Um, that investment is not a big deal. The hangar, it's it's only 20k. So it's when we do the Sky Striker that we're kind of... But I mean, yeah, I, th I think if you're going to have a garrison, you might as well have a garrison that can get trained up by doing missions. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of rookies hanging around. So um, I think that makes sense, ultimately. So it'll be... We'll try to max out these three bases. One of the big things we can hit is if we get Hyperwave Decoder, we can replace these two facilities with one hyperwave decoder which saves on maintenance which is good same for all the bases same for these bases too so we will save a fair bit of monthly maintenance on that um but yeah it's an expensive business guys and yeah in my offline playthrough that I, i've tried to make up for like you know all my mistakes <laughs> on my own time uh yeah i've built like a fair number of like a workshop base that's early on is ready to go. So as soon as you hit laser cannon, you can start churning out profit, which is a huge thing, right? Because it's cumulative over time. So once these generate their um, their money, you know, it's every month you get it. So, you know, you start to have more money to kick around to do other things like, um, you know, build more and more workshops, <laughs> and, you know, spam them eventually you know heck what i could eventually do if we live that long is i could build like you know some spare bases that are hidden that um will be especially once we get the mine shield and they're just workshop bases you know maybe no even maybe not even a garrison like i'm not sure if you need one but anyway guys those are big dreams there's i don't i'm not convinced that we're going to get there but it's something that we can hope for at least. And I'm glad to stay, see that we're still alive today. We're still functioning sort of. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. It's been a huge pleasure. I'll catch you next time.